Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. In commemoration of the, our national day and the 60th anniversary of the restoration of diplomatic relationship uh, uh, between Ethiopia and Japan, His Excellency Dr. Marcos Tekle, Ambassador, extraordinary and plenipotentiary of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, will make a speech. Please, Ambassador. Konnichiwa, Minasan. His Excellency, Mr. Kazuki Nakane, Parliamentary Vice Minister for Foreign Affairs of Japan and the representative of Japanese government. His Excellency, Dr. Daishiro Magiwa, State Minister of, Minister of Economic Trade and Industry, Member of Parliament and AU Japan Parliamentary League Member. Honorable Tsukasa Akimoto, Chairman of Ethiopian Association of Japan and Member of Parliament. Distinguished members of parliament and uh, excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's my great honor on the occasion of our National Day reception to extend my heartfelt greetings to their Imperial Majesties, Emperor Akito and Empress Michiko, the Imperial family as well as the government and people of Japan. Ethiopia and Japan have upheld friendly relations for more than 80 years at both the government and people-to-people -people levels. 60 years have gone for after the restoration of our diplomatic relation, following a brief disruption during World War II. Over those years, diplomatic and people-to-people -people relations between our two countries have been strengthened by various exchanges and visits by, made by higher development officials. The AU-Japan Parliamentary Friendship League, the Ethiopian Association of Japan, the Japan Association of Nilo Ethiopian Studies has also served and continue to serve as a bridge to enhance people-to-people -people relations between our two countries. I would like to express my highest gratitude to the people and government of Japan for their unwavering partnership in our development endeavors and supporting social development sectors like education, health, capacity building, agriculture, and clean water projects and infrastructure development in Ethiopia. As we speak, more than 200 experts and volunteers engaged in various sectors in Ethiopia are the proof for multifaceted support and through partnership. Ethiopia is co committed to enhance its cooperation with Japan beyond the bilateral level, specifically within Tokyo International Conference on African Development Framework, and which will, will hold its sixth summit for the first time in the African soil next year. May 28 marks the demise of the dictatorial military regime and the down for democratic um, governance and overall development. Since then, Ethiopia has made considerable progress in economic growth and social development. Ethiopia's economy shows a very robust and consistent growth, indicated by the average more, more than 10% GDP growth over the last 11 years. Ethiopia is striving to be a leading nation in light manufacturing in Africa with focus on textile and garment industries, laser and laser product, products, agro-processing, chemical and pharmaceutical industries, metal and engineering industries. In addition, the Ethiopian government has adopted Kaizen productivity in following Japanese example to improve quality and productivity of these industries. The high-level industrial policy dialogue, which has been conducted for over six years now, between the uh, Ethiopian government and uh, government officials and Japanese professors has contributed in improving legal regimes and policy environment for business and investment. The le development of industrial zone is given priority since 2012 by, by Ethiopian government. And Ethiopia has started industrial zone development around the capital and it is eastern and southern corridors. Existing industrial zones have attracted a range of foreign investors with incentives including tax holidays of up to seven years and low cost and uh, low cost land for industrial use, low labor costs as well as abundant uh, power supply, which is also cheap, make Ethiopia the hub for making Ethiopia the hub for labor and power intensive industries. I would like to invite Japanese investors to look the feasibility of the offer to develop special economic zones and industrial parks in Ethiopia. Another milestone was the, com the commencement of Ethiopian Airlines direct flight to Narita International Airport from Addis Ababa. This is an important milestone for trade, investment, tourism, and people-to-people -people relations between 
Japan and Africa in general, and Japan and Ethiopia in particular. Ethiopia will host the third international conference on financing for sustainable development from 13th to 16th of July 2015. The Ethiopian government is finalizing its preparation to successfully host this important event that sought to share post mdg global agenda for development. The conference will be expected to be held at the highest possible political level, including heads of state uh, or government, leaders from financial institutions and other professionals. The government of Ethiopia, in collaboration with organizers, has issued invitation and has called for the support and cooperation by all concerned members of international community for the success of the conference. With a strong desire for ensuring security, Ethiopia has been well heartedly and constructively contributing to the world peace and stability in line with the principle of the United Nations. In response to the United Nations call for peacekeeping forces, Ethiopia participated in the United Nations mission from Korea, Congo, Rwanda, Burundi, Liberia, and continue participating in Darfur, Abia, and Somalia with a high level of professionalism and commitments. With such ample experience, Ethiopia has indicated its desire to run for non-permanent membership at the United Nations Security Council for the year 2017 and 2018 to contribute its part for global peace and security. I want also use this opportunity to appreciate Nikkei Business Inc. Uh, for their initiative to organize Japan Africa Business Conference in Addis Ababa on 1st and 2nd of September this year. And I invite here all Japanese companies who are doing uh, business related with Africa to join and assess the opportunities Africa can offer. Ethiopia will continue as the force of peace and stability in the Horn of Africa in renewing its stance on democracy and good governance. The general election, which was held on 24 May 2015 in free, fair, and peaceful manner, will send as already sent the strong message that about the Ethiopian people's commitment for peace, development, and democracy. The election results, which was announced the day before yesterday, showed that Ethiopian people voted for the incumbent government and gave a mandate for another five years' term. Finally, I'm so grateful for all supporters and sponsors who helped us to celebrate this important day with various partners and friends of Ethiopia. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Now, may I call upon Mr. Uh, His Excellency, Mr. Kazuyuki Nakani, Parliamentary Vice Minister for Foreign Affairs of Japan, Member of Parliament, and Representative of the Government of Japan. Please, Mr. Nakani. His Excellency, Dr. Marcos Takalalike, the Ambassador of Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia to Japan, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as introduced now, I am Kazuyuki Nakane, Parliamentary Vice Minister for Foreign Affairs. On behalf of the government of Japan, I'd like to sincerely celebrate the National Day of Ethiopia. As spoken, this year marks the 16th anniversary of restoration of diplomatic ties between Japan and Ethiopia. I am quite delighted that the Ethiopian Airlines started new services to Tokyo Narita International Airport at this memorial year. Japan and Ethiopia have built cordial relations for a long time, and both countries have been important partners for each other in bilateral relations as well as in the international arena. At the fifth Tokyo International Conference on African Development, namely TCAT-5, at the year before last, His Excellency Mr. Halemariam Dessalen Prime Minister of Ethiopia, co chairing with Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, was fully engaged in success of the conference. The next TCAT is scheduled to be held in Africa for the first time. For success of the next TCAT, the government of Japan will continue to work in close cooperation with the Ethiopian government. Bilateral relations have, been, have become more active since Prime Minister Abe's visit to Ethiopia in January 2014 I, myself, met with His, His Excellency Mr. Sufian Ahmed, Minister of Finance and Economic Development of Ethiopia in April, and with Ambassador Berhane Gebre Kirustos, State Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ethiopia in April and May in Indonesia and Japan, respectively. 
discussing various cooperation in bilateral and multilateral relations. Through mutual visits of, of both countries' leadership, cooperative relations are heightened. The government of Japan will continue to be engaged in further strengthening such cooperative relations. With regard to economic relations, the government of Japan places great importance on strengthening trade and investment relations with African countries. In particular, Japanese companies are placing high hopes on Ethiopia, which has a population of more than 90 million and is maintaining high economic growth. Further contributing to trans transformation of an economic structure for industrialization of Ethiopia, including capacity building for business and industry, the government of Japan will work to strengthen economic relations between Japan and Ethiopia by the joint further cooperation of the government and the private sector. Moreover, today's amicable bilateral relationship is built at not only by the government, but also by interactions in various areas, including business, economic cooperation, and culture. I'd like to show my great respect to all the members for here today and people who have worked for the development of the relations between Japan and Ethiopia. And I strongly hope that personal exchanges between both countries will be further promoted. I will conclude my remarks with my firm belief that Japan and Ethiopia relations will be further strengthened in many areas at this year of the 60th anniversary of restoration of diplomatic ties between both countries. Congratulations. I thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much, and then for Your Excellency for your remark. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now an honor to invite you to watch a very short uh, video foc focusing on our uh, country branding. The cradle of mankind, Ethiopia. It's the land where mankind first started creating. Home to an innocent woman who holds the secret of the evolution of humankind. Hi, Lucy. The land has always created something new. Delivering happiness to people around the world. We have created peaceful mornings. And always provided unforgettable moments. But that's not all. We have created more flavorful moments. We have created glamorous beauty. We have created a new impulse for fashion. And even now, the DNA of creation brings to make something new. The land is full of pride and passion. happiness to the world.
ご紹介いただきました日本エチ,オピオエチオピア協会を会長制使っております衆議院議員の秋元司でございます通訳ありますかあ,あの全部言ってますかはいはい今日はあナシダでということで本当にこの日本とエチオピアの両国をしっかりと駆け足を結んでいただいている多くの皆さんが<笑>ご出席の中に。This year,、uh, we had a big, big activity.、Uh, we had a direct fight between Japan and Africa,、uh, Japan, Ethiopia, and Japan, and Africa. So I think the road to Africa is now becoming much closer than before. And I hope,、uh, as a chairman of the Ethiopian Association, I would like, to, I'd like Japanese people to go to Ethiopia and become an、uh, Ethiopian fan. I mean,、uh, please like Ethiopia a lot. And If you like Ethiopia,、uh, it makes the bilateral cultural exchange and also the people to people relationship will strengthen more and more. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations, everyone. Maybe you, I think you are、uh, all hungry, so I will make it short. Sagiodo Taishkara, Oshoka Yatta Yoni, Ethiopia got a direct flight to the Tobio Narimashta. Now,、uh, as、uh, told from the ambassador,、uh, the Ethiopian direct flight is now starting. So, you are Rio, Shita, and the Oini Nippon to Ethiopia, a Koryu Surioni, a Negatorimas. Using the direct flight, we、uh, hope that. that、uh, The relationship between Japan and Ethiopia is more uh, uh, strong. Tokuni, Watasha Kazai Sangyo Kudaijin, and the Kazai Ga, Yorika Sega Surioni, Ochikarado Surgoto, Ochikai Moshagimas. As a,、uh, I am the vice minister of economy and trade and、uh, uh, industry, so we would like to uh, uh, have more relationship with、uh, Ethiopia.、Uh, in, Especially about the industrial area. So, we are moving on to the toasting. Now, we are moving on to the toasting. Now, we are moving on to the toasting. Now, we are moving on to the toasting.